Yo guys, what is up? I am Nofatsuki, and today I'm gonna do a motion tracking tutorial. Uh, the last time I did this, I did a motion track masking, and this time I just do the 3D motion tracking tutorial. So what we're, what we're gonna do is import our clip, so import it to your uh, After Effects. So and then drag it into this uh, composition, this thingy here, to make a new composition. So now we got our new composition here, and it's not 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 tracked yet. Yet, of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, yeah, just let it stop here and let it begin here, and then trim comp to work area. So it starts here and and it ends here. And what what I'm gonna do now is shit. I clicked something. Okay, I'm gonna click uh, effects. Uh, perspective 3d camera tracker well what is gonna do, do now it's gonna set little nice points to markers actually where our motion track is gonna be so um, and what I'm gonna do now is just import uh, now click layer new new text and then type your text like Juki just Juki that's what I uh, that is what I'm gonna do and uh, then layer new solid and then just black make comp size and yeah that's it and then what I'm gonna do now is it go to effects and it and set your element so you will see now it's Okay, I'm back. My uh, element thingy doesn't work. So now I'm back. Now we got our element imported. Um, we're gonna uh, duplicate our cinematic. You'll do the, that while uh, by pressing Ctrl and D at the same time. And then you wanna delete the camera tracker from the second cinematic and rename it to uh, N Fire. So, and then go to your uh, solid, rename that to element. Uh, then go to custom layers, custom texture maps, and select the environment layer. And go to custom texture and, and masks, and select your text. Now, now what I'm gonna do is hide the text. So you can't see it anymore. Now I'm gonna go into scene setup. So you will get this nice screen. If you have element 3D correctly installed, you wanna click extrude. And then our text is here. And it's 3D as shit, it's nice. What I, what I like to do is to just go to presets, bevel, and then um, select the pyro mount. That's like the nicest one and now we have our text but it isn't it's not tracked yet no because the camera tracker is still um rendering the uh, yeah the tracking points so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause this video now and i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna resume it when it's done with camera tracking Yo guys, I'm back. Um, now, when it's done, you will get something like this with all these nice, colorful points. And when you move the cinematic, the points will move too. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the uh, ground, like just just drag where you want where the ground is, like this. And then create and then click click create null and camera now the text is tracked too so what you'll see is this it's nice tracked so actually you can uh, be done now but i'm gonna make it an, a bit nicer 
just I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click uh, scene setup. I spelled environment wrong on the thingy. Never mind. Now I clicked environment, and then now the mirroring is actually on the the reflection is on the map. So uh, you'll see reflection. Look at this. Now it's a bit nicer. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this like animated, so it will fly in and shit. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go to particle look, click multi object, enable multi object, object. Uh, go to uh, rotation random, keyframe it. Um, display is scatter Z and um, displays random and now what I'm gonna do is go to the element layer and click U and then we will see our keyframe chisel and now I'm gonna just put this up a bit so and then you will see the difference see but not that much yeah not that much uh, effect I mean yeah you know what I mean <laughs> then we're, what I'm gonna do is set the display just random up a bit just like that and then you'll see here the reflection of that fire here that's that's quite nice so now i got this and then i'm i want this a uh, thingy to end here not not here 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 yeah like here uh, and then i'm gonna put this to five so you can so it's still a bit rotated but it's not that normal as it used to be so um, put this here so it's there again normal and the display is random here so and wh what I've got now is this um, I'm gonna preview this. Also, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Uh, how to do a motion track a logo. So, what you wanna do for the logo is import your logo to After Flex. All, all right, guys. Um, my uh, I guess my After Effects just crashed. Well, I was trying to uh, import my logo, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna stop it here. Um, yeah, the, for the logo, it's just, you have to import it, then mask it out, and then just set it as, uh, a, and then just do the same as you did with the text, and then you'll get the same effect. Yo, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys um, know how, how you have to motion track now. Peace out.